glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. He's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. He's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. You got this one. Well, you they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. <laughs> Targeting that belt line with the right hand. <sighs> Teddy, I'm going to call this one a little baking soda and vinegar matchup. Oh, now dead. look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. <laughs> If you made a checklist of advantages and disadvantage, obviously you'd want the advantage of hand speed. But you've trained many a guy who's been on the other side where his opponents had the better hand speed. What have you told him? Well, I tell him, make it a muddy track. You know, Secretariat must be the fastest horse in the world, but on a muddy track, things change a little bit. Step out of range. Don't allow the kind of landscape, the kind of track that will suit speed. Way to block there. And he ties up on the inside. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Blocks the head shot. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Able to place the right hand in there. basics here as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him boxing 101 you have an opponent walking in you want to stay on the outside use that jab teddy among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, kind of chimney. You want to mix it up. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Hook, hook. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Move. This 
this round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside, as always, with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town, with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know? They, they these, do! <laughs> they, these guys... They don't real. have the reach. No, they, they don't. They can't reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. There's that right hand he scores with. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clincher. Yeah, yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He's telling you the truth. I don't feel right. It's up to his opponent now to take advantage of that. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. that left hand he brings an uppercut that really does damage there well he's throwing it but just missed isn't landing it and coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round Big right hand there. Move, move. <laughs> Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to get up down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? a big uppercut that just crashed home. Lands a big hook. Work the body. He's tired. Nice work. Nice work. Count down the final moments of this round. He missed with that headshot. Piercing jab. For the well-being of the fighter, his corner may need to stop this fight. Yeah, the well-being of now and tomorrow, because this is the kind of beating that's going to impact him tomorrow, take his confidence away. Maybe never be the same fighter if they don't stop it at the right time. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round, the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. Gets him with the right hand. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Pace yourself. Downstairs with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Crashes home with the uppercut. Body shot, body shot. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. Halfway through this round. And he engages in the clinch. Left and right, left and right. I think the lesson to be learned here is it's a marathon, not a sprint. He has treated this fight like it's a sprint early on here. Yeah, and the tortoise is starting to pass him right by, waving at him, saying, ha. Ah. Commits to the straight right. What a big shot. A sharp knifing punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Good defensive skill. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Uh, work the body, kid. Body shots. Able to dismiss that body shot. Solid hook. That's a serious power punch. He just landed to the head. Last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round three. Breathe. We need to see the combinations for you. All right, let's, let's throw the combinations. This fight is way too close. Let's throw the one, two. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. You gotta give him a double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four, but I think he's got a pretty bright future in this fight here, knowing that he's gotten to his man. Yeah, he knows it, and maybe more importantly, his opponent knows that he's been hurt. And I can see it already. It's making him a little bit more tentative. So it's making his job a little easier. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Off the mark. Get in there! 
Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Nice block. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation. Oh, what a left hand. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he was big shot there. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> Completely missing with that punch. Come on, kid. Focus. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this round. Good right hand. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. There you go. Nice work. Nice work. Don't get too close. To him. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. You don't need that. All right. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time get him, get him. Get off the mark body, there <laughs> he's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching That was off the mark. That right hand serving him well. Punch away. One, two, one, two. Put hands up. Keep those hands up. Relax. Keep doing what you're doing. Not much action as he just ties up. Keep Good moving, job protecting moving. himself. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Uh. 
Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And round five comes to an end. 60 seconds, that's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Okay, listen. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call, do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. That's what I want to see. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Just wasting everybody's time holding on. One, two, one, stay away from those. That's that it. punch it's nowhere like close. Reaching the halfway point of round number Double six. Up on your punches. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Finish with a hop. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good counter punch. Showing you some defense there with the block. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. Now you're seeing the kind of mentality that's going to try to avoid that happening again. But, Teddy, it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're in the corner with him, you know what you tell him, Joe? You tell him, look, you're being tested now. I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be a champion? Do you want to be special? Special people find a way to get out of this and still offensively go forward. Yeah, he's got to answer those questions. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. We start from the bottom up, right? Bottom up. Right. Turn those punches off. Listen, he's done. Don't need he that. Is done. Out. I want you to double him. I got it. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Keep working the body. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> Good. 
got this one. One, two, one, two. the halfway point of round seven. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just Keep great the upper body cut, movement, cut, cut. so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Beat him in the punch! Just missed with that punch. Back to the body. It's all right, just keep moving. towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. It's okay. Pay him back. And that's the end of round seven. This is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. And you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the nice water round. The that was good. Keep that up. We have this one. Circling, keep circling, don't stand in front of him. Keep, keep moving, keep your hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. There's Teddy's scorecard as we open up round number eight. If this was any other sport, it would be a blowout that probably wouldn't hold your interest, but not in this fight game where if there's even a second oh, left on the up, clock, anything can happen, and we've seen that so far with his punching ability. No, in this sport, you're always one touchdown away, you're always one basket away, you're always one hit away. One big punch away brings it right back for you. Wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves, I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. <laughs> Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut.
trying to go downstairs, but off target. Unable to score with the hook. Gets rid of that effort. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. And that's the end of round eight. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, Sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Right. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring, he's in control. Let's keep working behind the jab, okay? Work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the head, right? Body, head. He's almost done. You, you had him that round. You, you're in control. Next round. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Head and body, head and body. Good job staying away from the danger there. You got this one. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. his opponent <laughs> 90 seconds into the ninth round jump on him I don't like nice. this at all Teddy I mean it's one thing to stand toe to toe it's another thing to never even move. You gotta show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world's gonna know that he let himself fall down, he gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Placed left hand there. Well, he may be in match. Good, solid, you. right. And banging away he goes. Wow, is this good stuff? What good stuff? He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Gonna continue on beating the count. <laughs> round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? 
It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Stand it straight up. Move that body. You need to... He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Solid left hand. That shot unable to land. One, two. One, two. just wasting away some time with that clinch and we've reached the halfway point of round 10 Teddy when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact what do you tell him the first thing I tell him Joe is shorten up your punches a little bit the other body. thing I Double tell him is he's punches. making you miss so you know what faint him a little bit Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Well-placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Back to the <laughs> and the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Relax, relax. You're doing well. You just need to pace yourself. Just relax. You're doing fine. He's just beating it to the punch. That's all. Deep breath, that's it, relax. Let's finish this fight, go home, kid. Let's knock it. How will this play out? Through 10 rounds, Teddy, you have him down on the scorecards, but just look at what we've seen the past few rounds, and you can see the tide starting to turn. Yeah, no different than watching a game, whether it's baseball, basketball, football. The team's a little bit behind, but you just know who's gonna win. I mean, you just see it. Back to the body. And he's holding. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. 
He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he, he is not in good shape. He could be on. Did you see that? Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time now? One, two, three, four. Five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting nice up from that nice knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Looking good. <laughs> Clean shot with the right. <laughs> off target with that hook. Just miss scoring with that punch. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Able to get rid of that one. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's he staying sharp defensively. Now, you know, he's Down. still attacking in the spots he's that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 gym. years good, old, good. in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Beat him to the punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. A headshot blocked. Good block. Keep doing what you're doing. Halfway through this round here. Mistargeted. Oh, you're doing great. Stop it, 
Able to show you his blocking ability. There you go. That punch just close. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. He's tight. He's tight. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you, all right? As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Before. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Cover up that gut. Side to side. Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> Frustrating his opponent with great defense. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Keep working, bud. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Side to side, move your head. Yeah, give him one. Was just off the mark. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Back to the body. 
Good return fire that time. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. The start to the 14th round. Very nice defensive guard there. Keep your hands up. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Punch! Punch! Unload! Unload! More punches! Uppercut. Not able to land the uppercut. Not focus. Able to dismiss it. There's the hook. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Pace yourself. Swing back. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good work. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Pace yourself. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Final 10 seconds. That wasn't able to land. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Is the count of 10. That's it. Knockout. Never saw the punch coming. Let's get the official particulars and send it up to our ring announcer.
I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.